Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how Billie Eilish earned her $30 million fortune. Let's get right into it. Rebellious, insanely talented, and increasingly popular, Billie Eilish is an artist who wasn't even on the pop culture radar a few years ago. Now, she appears to be ready to take the world by storm. But understanding Eilish is more than simply knowing that her middle name, which she uses as a stage surname, is pronounced like Eilash with a lish. This young star comes from a family that's both interesting and talented. She's got an evolved perspective of herself, fame and the world. And she's also proven capable of speaking her mind from time to time. Now for her deep and often dark songs. Much of Eilish's music and style is inspired by her state of mind and her upbringing, so don't just skim the surface. Billie Eilish grew up in a musical family, but she never really set her sights on a career in music. Sure, she sang and wrote songs from an early age, but her rise to fame came about accidentally. It all started with a fun project that her dance teacher assigned her. She told Teen Vogue, One of my teachers asked if I would either write a song or have my brother write a song to choreograph a dance to. She then said, I was like, yes, that's such a cool thing to do. That's when her brother gave her the song Ocean Eyes, when he wrote for his band, but thought it would sound better in his sister's voice. Eilish claims that they recorded the song and uploaded it to SoundCloud for her teacher to listen to. The next day, she received a phone call from her brother telling her that they got 1,000 listens. She told Junkie, that was such a big deal at the time, even though 1000 is basically nothing compared to everything else in the world, but at the time, it was a huge deal. Today, the song has been streamed over a billion times. Many things have changed for Eilish during her meteoric rise to stardom, but one constant has been her brother Phineas. He not only co-wrote many of her hits, but he also produced or co-produced several of them. He even sang and played instruments on some of her songs. But Phineas isn't just in the background of Billy's music, he's also a musician in his own right. He was a member of the band The Slightlies, a talented singer-songwriter, and even had a successful acting career, beginning with the film Bad Teacher. Phineas went on to star in Life Inside Out with his mother. However, Phineas's most well-known roles to date have come from a few appearances on Modern Family and the recurring role of Alistair on Glee. Having said that, Phineas isn't desperate to escape the shadow of his burgeoning superstar sister. Eilish began writing songs when she was young, but it all started in class. Maggie Bird, Eilish's mother, homeschooled her and her brother, and one of the classes she taught was songwriting. Naturally, one of the homework assignments was to compose a song, which became Eilish's debut. The task was to watch a movie or a TV show, and then write down all of the parts that you thought were good hooks or lyrics. She then told Junkie, So, I watched The Walking Dead. Like, why not? And then I wrote down all this stuff. People don't even know that that's what it's about. Because it sounds more like a longing heartbreak song. But nope, it's about zombies. Eilish refuses to do what is expected of her. She dresses in her own distinct style and rejects the expectations of popular culture. Her EP titled Don't Smile At Me appears to be an appeal to fans of her often emotional and brooding music. But the singer takes it quite literally. The last few years have shown how quickly a talented musician can rise through the ranks of fame, but with Billie Eilish, it appears we are only seeing the tip of the iceberg. When you think about it, that's quite remarkable. Her debut EP has been streamed over 1.5 billion times, and her solo tour has been a huge success. Well, Billie Eilish's debut studio album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, was a game changer. The album debuted at number one in the US, making Eilish the youngest artist ever to do so. It also topped the charts in other countries. The debut album by Billie Eilish has received generally positive reviews from critics. As a matter of fact, it even won the most prestigious category on Grammys 2020, the album of the year. Today, Billie is basking on success with her sophomore album, Happier Than Ever. She was even the youngest ever solo headliner for Glastonbury's festival at the age of 20. The star is currently in the middle of a world tour, where she's been playing her second album, Happier Than Ever, almost in its entirety. She also appeared on the past two Met Gala, one of which she hosted with Timothy Chalamet. Today, Billie Eilish is worth $30 million, and with this kind of story, it's safe to say that there's no stopping her. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.